Salutations, Voodoo here for a quick unboxing. Today we'll be taking a look at the Intel DX79SR motherboard. Now this thing should be like new. These boards are pretty old now. And uh, it's kind of hard to find an X79 motherboard that doesn't cost a fortune. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, the little packagey peanuts. Let's get this thing out of here. It looks like it comes in a pretty decent box. Definitely designed for the extreme. Let's slide this thing on out. It's in there pretty good. Oh, we just ripped the box. That's alright. Man, I think this thing might be glued in. Intel loves to glue things. Alright, this board is an ATX form factor. It's got a nice 8 layer PCB. It looks pretty sturdy. It doesn't have that cheap plastic smell. It comes in a nice little protective bubble. None of that uh, static bag stuff. So this is kind of cool. You could use this just to test the motherboard out real quick. Let's see if we can get it out of the box and get this shell off. First thing I notice here, we've got a whole bunch of accessories. We have an SLI bridge, a few SATA cables, two-way SLI, and this must be the Wi-Fi dongle. Pretty cool. What's this under here? Paperwork. Wow, and a nice little Intel mouse pad. That's kind of cool. I'll definitely use that. Let's take a look at this board. Alright, now we have a total of eight memory slots. You notice it takes up a lot of the board. With these X79 chipsets, you have quad channel memory. We have a total of 64 gigs of quad channel memory up to 2400 speed. Just make sure your DIMMs are installed in the correct order. You have to reference the manual. I believe this is one, two, three, and four. Now we've got three PCIe slots, two running in 16X and one in 8X. We have two PCI Express slots, and it looks like one lonely old school PCI slot. For storage, we have four SATA connectors. Looks like four SATA 3 and four SATA 6 for a total of eight. So that's pretty cool. You can use the SATA 3 for your old school hard drives. Use those SATA 6 for your SSDs. I believe a couple of these are marble. You might want to look into that. Sometimes marble can be funky in certain configurations like RAID. Also with the Intel X79 chipset, we have 40 PCIe lanes, so plenty of space for PCIe storage if you want to upgrade later on. Not so limited by the actual SATA ports. Now we have four, notice them in this uh, nice red color here, four PWM controlled fan headers. That's great. That gives us more than adequate cooling. And we have our standard Realtek ALC 892 audio chipset. I believe this is 10 channel. We do have dual integrated Intel gigabit LAN connections. And we have our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support with our supplied dongle. On the rear panel, we have a total of four USB 3.0 ports and six USB 2.0 ports which is pretty awesome, plenty of connectivity. And then on board, we also have two USB 3.0 and eight USB 2.0. So this thing is ready to go if you have some peripherals. Very nice. And it does also include an optical and our five audio ports, of course. 
This board does come with a nice little postcode display, as well as a voltage meter test point and a thermal probe. It has a beefy, awesome looking skull themed chipset cooler with a heat pipe. I really like the blue and black color scheme, a nice change from the red and black gamer aesthetic we've seen a lot of lately. This is one of the last motherboards Intel ever made, and unfortunately, all bias and uh, technical support ended in late 2015. However, this board, being dated, is still really capable. X79 is an awesome chipset, and if you can snag one of these under, I'd say $180, I would go for it. I have some plans for this board, possibly a Xeon or maybe an i7 build. That's the great thing about these boards, is that uh, if you can find the board, the processors are pretty cheap, give you some great options and some very powerful options for under $50. So stay tuned for that video. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and I'll see you guys next time. Voodoo out.